Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Snow is upon us. We got about a foot of it last night. So the cleanup begins. Got old Blue parked out here next to the garage. Half buried, but she's ready to uh, warm up, drop the plow, and start moving. Got Senior out there right now. He's starting to rake some of the uh, snow off the front of the shop out there so that we can get that on the ground before we get it plowed. So it's looking like today's going to be an entire day of snow moving. Good thing it happened on Sunday here because uh, I'm going to be going into another full work week of darkness after this. So I think we're going to be dealing with this stuff all day today. Well, I've got a path shoveled this far anyway. Got it cleaned out from in front of the garage far enough to get in here and uh, back drag it out. So we'll get old blue started here. Oh yeah, we got some snow up there. It's going to have to be dealt with too. Anyway, bust into her here. Hey, old Blue. How you doing, old girl? I think you're going to get a workout today. I need to find the door handle. There we go. Get the snow off the top so it doesn't all fall in when I open the door. Yeehaw. Yeah, look at that. That gets, that gets pretty deep over there. There we go. It was only frozen shut a little bit. Dark in here. Yeah, buddy. up on the defroster, dry them out a little bit. Controller powered up. Make sure we're not froze down with the plow. No, nope, that's good. Let me just see what happens. You can do it, old blue. Oh, she's struggling. There we go. And we're off. Oh my gosh, it's already pushing up above the plow. We're not stopping now until we get to the pile. Lift, 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 stack. Oh yeah, there we go. Back for another pass. There's Senior, he's on the Kubota. Having the time of his life, I imagine. Let's take a look at what we just did. Yeah, judging by the depths, the depth of this channel, it's gonna be a long day. about an hour and a half into it and we've barely got anything done as you can see I'm still rolling snow just about up over the back of the plow I got to be really careful here because when I come into the pile I let, oop, hit that a little hard if I let that uh, roll back over the blade and get behind it I'm pretty much stuck and it's a lot of shoveling by hand if that happens so what we've been having to do is just kind of make a slot and then just widen it a little bit at a time. Come for another pass here on a long push like this. About the best I can do with the truck is, is take like a foot, foot and a half cut off to the side. You can see it starts pulling in and rising up above the plow. Get into the pile and stack it the best you can. And repeat, and repeat, and repeat. Well, it happened down here plowing at the end of the driveway and I rolled some snow behind the blade. We're not bad on this side. Sorry about the wind. But 
I'm bound up just enough in here. Now I'm gonna have to shovel, clear what I'm trying to drag, see if I can back out. Oh, the indignity of it all, I have to get a tow. Get again. There, I made sure you're the hero. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm gonna break through that. If you want. I can try, I don't know, it's pretty heavy. Guy on a side-by-side -side came by with a plow, he goes, are you stuck? And he did a little bit of a push in, but then he stopped. I said, I got a tractor up there if I need it. <laughs> I got senior up there with uh, Kubota. He's getting the uh, windrow cleared that the snowplow left. It looks like, dang, it looks like it'd be three feet deep up there. Finally got it to where he can uh, push down from the road. He gets it down in here a ways and then I can get it in the pile. And he's spinning a little bit. He's making it. I know he misses that super M. At least we got some good uh, grabbing chains on that thing. Even with four wheel drive though, it doesn't do too bad. Boom, oh, I can tell when I hit that pile. There's a lot of snow out here. Just let him push it on down. He's flogging her pretty hard. <laughs> see if I can take a bite out of that. Yep. That teamwork gets the job done. Okay, so we got around the house done, driveway out to the road done, everything down to the pole barn area down there done. You can barely see Senior on that orange blob back there. He's doing a little bit of lot, a little bit of final cleanup in front of the shop. I blasted one path, one pass out here. Didn't dare stop. And uh, what I'm trying to do is work my way further out to that that field. That's about as far out as we go. But my trouble is, you get back in here. You got to give yourself some place to turn around. Uh, you can't just make it all the way out. There's drifts that are too big back there. So, came on past the wood piles. Just last weekend, we finished uh, baking this one, and then we had a little overflow. You can see where this one used to end right here. We had to add another pallet, build it up a little bit. But that was that's a pretty good jag of wood. It goes back in there a ways. It's as tall as me. That was uh, last weekend's project. I finished up with that. See old blue here. See if we can get between it and the snow bank. Ah, and I, I've just been stuck again. I got stuck twice today. Just got pulled out for now. Senior's really been uh, really been keeping me out of trouble. We also need to get into this wood pile. This is the one that we're pulling wood from that we're burning this year. We're gonna get that one used up. Then we're gonna move on to where those are up there. Like I say, we're going to have to continue on down that road out there and get out to the field. We've got to do it in segments, so there's just so much snow. So I'll finish getting this area here cleaned out and then uh, turn around, blast back up this way, widen the road, get everything done at least to where my turnaround is, and then we'll continue on out there. It's getting on about 4 o'clock in the afternoon right now. We've been at this since 9 this morning. Usually to plow everything really well on a regular snowfall, it's about three hours, maybe four, and we're pretty much done. We've been going all day, and I'm pretty sure I'm still going to be going after dark. 
All right, turnaround's done. And we got a pretty good road all the way out here. So let's see if we can make it out to the field. I don't know if the camera will stay in place, but we're gonna bomb it and see what happens. Not angling the blade. We're not trying to throw it to one side or the other. We're just trying to get right out there. See if I can get stuck. Third time might be the charm, huh? Oh yeah, we're rolling it. It's coming up behind the blade. Oh, look at that piece. Oop, camera's falling down. Come on, old blue. You can do it. Don't stop, old girl. Hook the corner. Don't hit the hay bale. Rick Bork might not be happy with me if I did that. Oh, oh, we're in it. We're in it. Oh, I think that's about as far as we go. Let's see if I can back up. Yep. Yeah. We're still moving. Oh man, look at the snow fuddling in the tracks. All I can do is just try and keep it going forward. Come on, old blue. There, it's lightened up a bit out here. We made it. We didn't get stuck yet. about 5 p.m. I think I got it done nice red sky over there sun's just about gone got a pretty good turnaround done out in front of this little garage out here on the field just show you the road back I think we're done with wipers now had to uh, make a little bit of a turnout right there I had to do another one right, right in front of me. It was just uh, so tough trying to get rid of all this snow. Drop that blade a little bit. Trouble with this road out here, it's so skinny. I've only plowed twice and I, I already can't, uh, I can't roll it up over the windrows on each side anymore. It's already about as, about as wide as it's <laughs> gonna be. And I think uh, any more snow, we're just gonna have to start uh, We'll do like some slot does and we'll have to just start pushing it out to each end. Try and stockpile it from there. Oh, does feel good to stand up again. Get the plow off. Probably gonna have to chisel some of the ice out of there. Yep, we got, uh, she got pretty well covered today. Hey, it'll come off. Get the plow off so she can uh, get me to work tomorrow yet. Just looking at the snow on the roofs. Some on the house there. I know it's just about dark, but we got a pretty good sized drift up along the peak on the garage here. It's kind of starting to uh, hang over the edges pretty good too. I think we're going to be doing uh, a little bit of snow removal on a couple of these roofs here before we get anything else. Anyway, I'll get that plow off old blue all day today all my whole sunday snow plowing this is the day that you know having to work all week with it being busy at work and stuff this is the day i usually try and get some filming done on some of the projects in the shop but wasn't any time for it today but old blue did pretty good we'll get the plow off her there and get some supper and i think i'm about done for the night take it easy this evening probably knock off so well, might have been kind of a boring video today. No shop work, no projects, but that's what keeps you busy out here, especially in the wintertime. Still got a lot of, shoot, I just, I see the lean-to on the back of the barn there. I got to pull that off yet tonight. That snow is going to start sliding tomorrow if we get any sun, so not done yet. So I'm going to wrap up here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you back again.